الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله على نعمة الإسلام بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله ما شاء الله الحمد لله we are thankful to Allah سبحانه وتعالى for making us witness this blessed month of Ramadan. From the beginning of the month, we were so excited for the month. We were counting down the days to see the Ramadan. And Allah made us among those who are alive to witness this wonderful month. Like they say, everything that goes up must come down. Everything that has beginning must have an ending. It is only Allah who does not have beginning, does not have ending. So we were excited. Now, days of Ramadan are going. You know, some horses, when they go on race, the moment they get closer to the finish line, that's when they pick up speed and strength. So this is to us to do better than that. Because the days are leaving. The blessed days of Ramadan are leaving. We do not know if we're going to be here next time in this masjid praying. Only Allah knows who's going to be here. So we have to take full advantage of that. If you're on the flight before you land, you're going to hear the, the uh, announcer. They're telling you to fasten the seatbelt and prepare for landing. So this is the same thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. Allah is saying, it was revealed on the blessed night. What night is that? What is blessed? The Quran. Shahru Ramadan unzila fihi al-Quran. Month of Ramadan was the month that the Quran was revealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. He said, The Quran was revealed on the ninth of decree. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was saying, as we heard so many times, Qad ja'akum shahru Ramadan. He said, the month of Ramadan has come to you. Shahrun Mubarakun. It is a blessed month. If Allahu alaykum siyamah. Allah has made obligatory fasting in the month of Ramadan. Kutiba alaykum siyam. It is obligated on you to fast in the month of Ramadan. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Tuftahu fihi. Abwabul Jannah. He said, in this month, the doors of Jannah are open. fihi Abwabul Jahim. And in this month, the doors of hellfire are closed. fihi shayateen. And the devils are chained. And then he said, Fihi Laylatun Mubarakun. Mubarakun khayrun min al He said, in the, in the night, there is a blessed night that is better than thousand months. Just like we read the surah every time. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Wa ma adaraka ma laylatul qadr. Allah is asking rhetorical question. And Allah is answering. Laylatul qadr khayrun min al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, What will make you know this ninth of decree? Then Allah answered and said, The ninth of decree is better than thousand months. In our calculations, if we count thousand months, that's about 84 years. So what is better? Meaning to be, to be uh, fortunate enough to witness the power of that ninth of decree, to worship in that night is better than worshiping Allah for 84 years. 
And not the way we worship. Sometimes you disobey Allah. Sometimes you miss the salah. Sometimes you couldn't do this. Sometimes you backbite. No. Meaning, perfect worship for 84 years. The one who witnessed this night, he's in and he's accepted, is better than somebody who's been worshiping Allah. You know, the right way, proper way for over 84 years. So this is something that we should be looking for. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again said, مَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةَ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِ He said, whoever gonna stand in prayer on this ninth of decree, you know, with full devotion, sincerity, you know, out of faith, and seeking reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then his past sins will be forgiven. The same thing was said about fasting in the month of Ramadan. If you do it with sincere faith, seeking reward from Allah. So we have twice, you know, that forgiveness in just one month. My dear brothers and sisters, this is when we have to tighten up. This is when we have to do our best to make sure we finish up strong. Everyone here want to go to Jannah. Everybody want to hear for the holy fi ibadi. Wadukhuli Jannati. Don't you want to hear that? It's said to you, you know, to enter among the righteous servants and enter in the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the reality. You know, Tanazalul Malaika to Waruhu Fiha. On the ninth of decree, the angels descend because of the blessing that's in. And then Allah said, Waruhu, Ruhu is Jibreel alayhi salam. Allah could have just made it the angels descend. But he wanted to, us to know that even Jibreel alayhi salam descend on that night. Why? Because Jibreel alayhi salam was the one who was always sent to the messengers. He comes to deliver a message. After the Quran was revealed, he comes in the month of Ramadan when the Prophet sallallahu was alive to review the Quran with him. After that, that's it. His mission was done. But on this night of decree, even Jibreel alayhi salam descends. So we want to be among the people who want to witness this blessed night. We try to finish strong. You know, it started some of us who were lacking. Like I can see right now, the masjid is getting narrower. People stop coming. This is when we should come more. This is when we should be filling up the masjid. You know, because we don't know. It could be our last. You know, imagine this is your last Ramadan. Do I have time? Two minutes. You know, imagine this is your last Ramadan. Just a short narration. I'm going to wrap it up. It was narrated by Abu Huraira. He said two brothers, you know, came to Islam during the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Brother, Brothers from uh, the tribe of Quda'a. And... The first one of the brothers, he fought for the sake of Allah. And he was martyred. He was shadi. After that, it took a whole year before the second brother also died. He died natural death. So Talha, he had a dream. He saw the brother who died later on. He did not fight for the sake of Allah. He entered Jannah before the one who fought for the sake of Allah. So he was amazed. He went to the Prophet sallallahu narrated the, the dream to him. Because he was amazed. How can that happen? Jihad is the best of worship, you know. So the Prophet sallallahu said, hasn't he witnessed another Ramadan? Hasn't he prayed like 6,000 rakat? He said, yes, that is the difference. You see, one Ramadan made difference that somebody who witnessed one extra Ramadan he entered Jannah before somebody who fought and died for the sake of Allah. So this is the blessing. So we shouldn't take it for granted. We should fasten our seatbelt. We should do our best. On that night, you know, just so that, you know, we try. Try to pray every night. Because the Prophet ﷺ said it comes on the odd nights. Don't be picky. Pray. Whatever you can do. And increase in giving. Charity. Especially during the night. Yes. Right now we got it so easy. Even if you're not the masjid, we got zeal. We got uh, cash up. We got things. 
You get up, you're able to make two rakah that night, send some money. Do something. Because if that night comes, it's going to be written for you as if you've been doing it for 84 years plus. So let's be smart. May Allah set from us. May Allah make us witness this night. May Allah make us have the blessing in it. May Allah give us many more Ramadans to come. May Allah make us witness more. May Allah strengthen Islam in this country. May Allah bless our children. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adha bannar. Kumu ila salatikum.